It's 3.30 in the morning. I just did an Instagram live. I can't stop ranting. First thing I want to say is women, there's more to you than your sexuality. It's okay to post a classy picture. Do I sound like a teacher? Do I sound like a principal? I'm sorry. You can be whatever you want, but it's just... Do you know what's rare? A classy girl. It is classy. It's rare now. It's not going to get you anywhere. You know, what do I mean by it up? Just like using your body and Instagram just to get attention. It's like use your fucking mind. Your body's in bonus. I know I sound like an old lady, but I just am so sick of fucking. People like use sex for anything to promote what they're doing. It's like just promote what you're doing. You don't need to sexualize it. Are you that desperate? How desperate are you? How sad are you that you don't feel confident enough in the product which you're promoting that you have to add sex to it? Look at that. Fucking thing just fell down right there. Fuck. In the middle of my rant. That just fell off the fucking wall as I was ranting about women being too ho- And yet it was me. It's base. This is God. I don't care if you think I'm a freak. I'm not even religious. I'm just starting to see all these signs. Like, that's God. That was divine intervention. Jesus. Jesus literally. Like, I said you can be a good woman. And and that's what came on the shelf. That almost came at me. That almost came at me. God was like, there's a good woman. And her name is Jamie. Yeah. I'm more classy than fucking most of you hoes. Wow, that really was God. It's never fallen down. I've never taken it off. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. Wow. I just fucking am tired of women promoting something and then using sex to promote it. Unless you're promoting sex. I'm so turned off. You know what really make my fucking pee-pee hard? A nice conversation. I guess I got inspired because I want to talk about... Um, I feel like tonight I was riding on my scooter and I was like scooting around and I was like, how many celebrities or... Famous people, do you know, that scoot in the middle of shit. And I really want to do it more often. Because they're liars. They don't know what's going on. They don't care what's going on. They want to act like they care, but they don't give a fuck about you. I want you to know that. All these fake ass people, fake idol worship of celebrities. I used to love it. But they are so fake and so self, only for themselves. And I've known this. We're in a time now. We're in a really twisted time in our world, and and people need help. And they'll still get on the pulpit and say some dumb bullshit about the environment or some fucking stupid bullshit about something else, but they won't really, really do anything. They'll just make some kind of fucking statement. But they're not really doing anything, you know. They're not really going and, you know, talking to people. They just want to keep their money. They want to get your money. And you'll give it to them because you're dumb. Not all of you. But a good portion of you are not smart. Because you actually believe the shit that they're telling you. But they're not telling you the truth. Hypocritical, liars, fucking fake. And I wouldn't be like this if I just didn't see the doubling and the tripling down of the fake behavior during the worst times of that. Just a homeless problem alone is just terrible. But I don't see celebrities in there fucking riding through them, talking to them. Hypocrites. And so... It made me think about the whole Lizzo controversy. I don't know what's going on. I guess Lizzo's body shamed her dancers for being fat. And I'm going to use the word fat because fat is okay. There are people that are fat. I have fat on my body. It's okay. And then she body shamed somebody for being fat. I mean, she's not exactly svelte. But I I love Lizzo's music, you know. I think she's great. I think she's sexy, pretty. She's uh, BB Dub, you know. I love that all the people that came for her, that, you know, they pushed, you know, it should have never been about anything other than her music. And, um, you know, you couldn't say anything about her body or you couldn't say anything about her because, you know, she was a strong, independent black woman. Um, 
And now I guess there's accusations. I'm not going to say it's the truth, but people are running with it that she takes bananas out of people's pussies and then making their dancers eat the banana, which probably has fucking syphilis on it. I don't know if that's true. That's terrible if it is. That's fucked up. That's creative, but that's fucked up. Why are you going to fucking take a banana out of a fucking... I mean, the only thing you can say about that whole thing is at least it's a healthy snack. Like, it wasn't like a bag of Takis. But, like, all the fucking people that were like, Lizzo's queen, you go, go. Oh, she ate that. Remember when people say that shit? Oh, she ate that if she did a performance. Or oh, Slay, where are you at now? Defend her. Lizzo, I wish you watched this. I love you. I'm a fan of your music. So you like to get freaky? Explain it. You know, come on my show. You won't. You should. Because I'm going to be, I'll let you talk for real. Because it's, they're coming. I mean, you got the talent to go through it, so you got some serious talent. You're so unique. But people have totally abandoned you, Lizzo. I always liked your music, but I think it's bullshit that the the hypocrites aren't there for you. Ooh, they're surprised. What do you mean? Lizzo's a freak. She likes to have fun. Doesn't mean she's a bad... I mean, if she's jamming... First of all, that's fucked up to the... To the... To the... Can I say... To put fruit up her pussy... Unless they was consensual. But then to take that out and put it in your back to the dancer's mouth and say, you're going to be fired if you don't eat it. That's fucked up. It's really creative. That's a plot line. Like, that's something, like, a good writer would write. That's really fucked up. Like, you wouldn't think that's real. But now people are like, oh, my God. I can't believe Liz, I was putting banana in people's twats. I mean, I, I don't, it's like, Jesus saved me from your followers. I'm really talking about a lot of religious stuff. Because I don't think... It's, it, Lizzo's not the problem. Unless she did something unconsensual, then that's a problem. You, the people that virtue signal for her are, they're the, you're the problem. The people that are like, act like she's perfect is the problem. You know what I mean? I mean, if she said, eat this banana, you don't get the fucking job backing me up as dancing. That's kind of fucked up. Especially since it was in like Amsterdam, where it's like, basically, it's like, you know, that's a profession there of like being a professional. And, there's a whole district for it, so that's not. I mean, you can get tested or whatever, but that's not. It's not like fucking. It's been used vagina that's gonna have fruit in it. That's, that's fucked up. I don't know. I'm really rambling right now, but I'm also making points. My point is, I would love Lizzo to come on the show and explain it. She really should. Come on, Lizzo, be real. Talk about it. I'm a fan. Don't listen to these people. But you know, if you it did something wrong, you can write it. They're piling on now. And it's not really about Lizzo. What I wanted to say is is that it's about people that put celebrities on pedestals and buy the shit that they're peddling. I don't think ever Lizzo's ever really preachy, though. I honestly think she just wanted to be left alone, and people used her as this fucking symbol of, like, body, you know, phobia and shaming and all this shit. I think that she was just put in this world of stuff that she didn't even ask for. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But, um... I just hate all the fucking fake ass celebrities, pussies. Any celebrity that acts like really good and like really earnest is a piece of shit. I want you to know that. Any celebrities like, oh, oh, how are you? I was with these nice humans. You ever seen people say that shit? They're a piece of shit, okay? They're fucking pussies and they're fake. I was had the honor of being with these nice humans. They're liars. They want your money and they're going to lie and they're betting that you're not going to fucking smell the shit that they're peddling. Why does this make me mad? Well, because we're in a fucked up world and I'm tired of fake fucks winning and it's time for me to fucking bulldoze. I don't even care about winning. I don't even care about I just want people to see the whole deck. All the cards are not being shown. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, all the fucking treatments for cancer that they suppress. They're out there, but they suppress them. Same with celebrities who are fucking fake virtue signals, but they they make they make they want you to believe it, but they want you to help the environment, but that's not going to stop their private jet like if the environment was a big deal, you would not have a private jet. Just that simple. So either the environment's not a big deal or you're a liar. Which is it? If the environment's not a big deal, then you won't be on a yacht. If it is, 
So it's just okay. Just say the environment's not really a big deal. That's all bullshit. Or I'm a hypocrite. That's all. I want people to go, I'm a hypocrite. But they won't. Because they want your money. And they're propped up by insecure journalism and everybody that wants to belong. And, oh, I'm going to write this about this person and maybe... Maybe I'll get to write the next story. And then they'll shit on certain celebrities. I've been a victim of this. That they think that they can take out. Well, I'm not going to stand for that anymore. Because I've done a lot of good work. And I believe I'm a good person. And now I'm at a crossroads in my life. And the only thing that matters to me is the actual semblance of a truth. And if I smell bullshit, I just... I'm going to go in. And I'm working on myself, too. You know, there's things I, I need to be more honest about and certain things. I, I don't talk about everything. I talk about a lot of things, you know. But that, like I said before, we're still in a place where people enable these fucked up, fucked up behaviors, you know. It's fucked up. Like, do I really want to burn every motherfucking bridge? Do I want to torch every fucking bridge? Or, I mean, none of these bridges are worth crossing anyway. I'm so sick of them. I'm so sick of them, man. Boy, I'm really fucking losing it, aren't I? But you know, it's the same stupid shit. I gotta go to another spot, man. I can't deal. I needs to go to like Palm Springs or some shit. I gotta get out. Too much fucking bullshit. Anyway, I don't know what this was about. <laughs> Had another fight with a hotel. I'm the customer. The customer's always wrong. Unless you're a big star that they approve, and then you're right. But if not, they'll just shit on you and call you. Guys, don't like, don't subscribe.